Hello, I'm Josh Zikevich, the 2016-2017 General Manager for Clarion Broadcasting. This video will show you how to operate the Sony HXR MC2500 digital camcorder. The camera uses the Sony NPF series of batteries. They are charged in the camera using the included power supply. When returning the camera, always plug it in so that it is fully charged for the next student. This camera uses SD memory cards. One should be inside the camera here, and the other can be kept here. Do not use the camera's internal memory. Accessing the internal memory requires a special USB cable and a powered hard drive or select USB drives. Even then, it takes a long time to copy footage off of the internal memory. The camera can be handheld, but I recommend using a tripod whenever possible. There is a 1 quarter inch by 20 screw mount on the bottom. A stereo shotgun microphone is mounted to the camera and plugged in here. This microphone is good for ambient sounds, also called natural sounds or nat sound, and can be used for interviews if necessary. For better interview sound, I recommend one of the Clarion handheld microphones. It can be plugged into the same port. A splitter is also available if you'd like to plug in both at once. There are three hot shoe type mounts on this camera. On the side, you'll find the AV out and headphone out jacks. To turn on the camcorder, press in the green button and slide the switch up. You can use the viewfinder or the screen. There are two zoom buttons. The one on the top handle zooms slower than the one on the right. To begin recording, press one of the buttons with the red dot. To end, press it again. On the side of the camera, you'll find four buttons. Peaking Assign 1. By default, this button will toggle focus peaking on and off. Focus peaking will show you what is in focus by outlining it in white. The color can be changed to red, white, or yellow in settings. This button may be reassigned in settings. Manual. Pressing and holding this button will bring up a list of settings that can be assigned to the ring around the lens. Use the ring to move up and down the list, then press the manual button again to select it. Now, turning the ring will adjust that setting. Pressing this button briefly will toggle between manual and automatic on the currently selected item. I recommend keeping gain and iris on auto, shutter speed on manual at 48, and the button set to focus. WHTBAL White balance will cycle between four different white balance settings. Auto, preset, which can be changed in the settings, custom A, and custom B. WB set. Use the white balance button to change to custom A or custom B. Press and hold to set a custom white balance. On the opposite side of the camera, near the zoom rocker, you will find focus magnifier assigned to. By default, this button will zoom in at 4x on the first press and 8x on the second press. This button may be reassigned in settings. Here are a few of the most important settings. Camera set menu. Ring setting is the same as pressing and holding the manual button as discussed earlier. AGC limit will prevent the camera from increasing the gain or brightness above a certain level. I set this to off. WB preset will change the default white balance preset for the white balance button on the side of the camera. I set this to indoor. Record out menu. Record set will change the resolution and frame rate. 1080 24p FX will give you the most film like video. Change this to 1080 60p PS if you'd like to do slow motion effects. Media select will allow you to switch between memory card and internal memory. Remember, only use the memory card. Display set menu. Histogram. A histogram is a graphical representation of the light values in your image. I recommend leaving this on. Zebra. Zebra is another setting that can help you control the exposure. The parts of your image that are above a certain brightness level, adjustable between 70 and 100 plus, will show alternating white stripes on the screen. Peaking. Peaking is where you can turn focus peaking on and off, set your color, and the amount. 
A level of low will show less indication of what is in focus. A level of high will show more, but will also obscure more of your image. Marker. Marker will allow you to turn on and off various visual aids that may help you frame your shot. You can show a center point, different aspect ratios, a safety zone, which shows the edge of your frame, and a guide frame for rule of thirds. Others menu. Assign button. This will let you reassign the peaking assign one and focus magnifier assign two buttons. Please consider your fellow students before reassigning these keys. Clock set sets the clock. Area set sets your time zone. DST set turns on and off daylight saving time. Rec lamp controls whether the small red light on the front of the camera will turn on when you press record. Sony logo lamp controls the backlit Sony logo at the rear of the camera. Possibly helpful if you need to know the camera is on, but it does use additional battery power. Media format. This will let you reformat your memory card. Only do this after you've saved your videos to a computer. These are the most important features and controls for the Sony HXR MC2500 camera. To learn more, read the manual or speak with the general manager or your advisor.